some of the things that, you know, we get, we get stuck in our small self, one from lack of information, yeah. but one of the other things that that keeps us there. There's two other things. There's fear, obviously, which locks us in. Mm -hmm. But I also wanted to ask the guides about the pleasures of the small self that keeps us locked in, because it's it's the double bind. The fear causes us to retreat, but there are certain pleasures that the small self have. Like, what are these pleasures of the small self? What does the small self think think it enjoys, or does it really enjoy it? I'm going to ask, because I mean, that's never been asked before, and I don't know mm -hmm. what we'll get. The small self thinks she knows what she likes. The small self thinks she knows what she likes. She has great assumptions. She has great assumptions. He is taught what to enjoy. He is taught what to enjoy, perhaps. What he tells us. Perhaps what it is, it is what, feels, what feels good, but more often than not. But more often than not is what one is supposed to think is feel good. It is what one is supposed to think feels good, feels good. It's supposed to feel good. It is supposed to feel good to have all the money, to have all the money, to have the pretty partner, to have the pretty partner. It's supposed to feel good. It's supposed to feel good to get what you want all day long, to get what you want all day long. Perhaps it may. Perhaps it may, but the small self thinks it knows what it needs. But the small self thinks it knows what it needs. The true self does know. The true self does know. The question is always, the question is always who is claiming, who is claiming, who is calling things into being, who is calling into being, calling things into being, into being. The small self may enjoy itself greatly. The small self may enjoy itself greatly. The true self may love. The true self may love. And there's a great difference here. And there is a great difference here. The small self does not love. The small self does not love. She may be in infatuation. She may be in infatuation and adoration, in adoration, but she cannot love. But she cannot love. The construct that is the small self, the construct that is the small self is not that level of alignment, is not at that level of alignment. Each time you love, each time you love, you are as the true self. You are as the true self because only the true self knows love. Because only the true self knows love. There is nothing wrong with enjoying the body. There is nothing wrong with enjoying the body. You have one to enjoy. You have one to enjoy. We don't say don't enjoy yourself. We do not say don't enjoy yourselves. We say be in love. We say be in love with the body, with the body and its uses as well and its uses as well when you're operating in fear. When you're operating in fear or choosing things in fear or choosing things in fear because you think you should, because you think you should, you are in fact incurring karma. You are in fact incurring karma that you will have to attend to, that you will have to attend to at some date at some date. That is not a bad thing. That is not a bad thing, but it is a requirement. But it is a requirement when the small self chooses. When the small self chooses, makes decisions fear, makes decisions in fear, he is responsible. He is responsible for ramifications, for the ramifications of the choice from here on in, from here on in, period, period, period. They're saying period. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm.